A compound belonging to the Jame family of Lachikona German has caught up in flames for the third time in recent years, leaving the residents with virtually nothing, as everything in the Lion House was consumed by the fire. According to residents, the fire began at 12 noon, but they are yet to establish the cause of the fire. However, many believed it might be an electrical spark. Tida Jame lives at the first room where the fire started. I have nothing left except the clothes I am wearing. Everything has perished in the wildfire, she told me. I don't know how much it is. I don't know how much it is. Because I don't know how much it is. Mam fair kuna suma salary. Amen. Aku mangeja di defo kuna ni. Luma sani lagi moji. Mandala jenut. Du suma firi du dala dala jenut. Luma sani leka jena. Wow. Dala sisa. Then cuma kalau ham ne buih mau hete jenis cara si masi bitik bi. Aku mau. Anak mang kuba yep sulo hayar mang santai ala. Ami mane who has four children with her husband stranded in Libya lives next door. According to her, after losing everything to the blaze, believed it's another pain added to the misery she already has as a struggling mother. Landing Sanyang considers himself lucky, for he managed to save some of his important documents. Some documents in Amne, you are gonna saw her. You sent her again in Ako. Wa sent her alam um film um dega dega. Nit dangay wa sa digan taki ala. Wa dega dega film um luya home um bariut. The landlord of the compound, Abdullah Jame, could not do anything but thank God that there was no loss of lives in the incident. Get them boys to come here. Because the technicians and back end, but the fire service now they wrote in that they do got the fire hammer. Like every day, they are not going to fire hammer. Because fire service now they are not doing something like that hammer. So boy, they are not sitting there. Santa is a boy. Meeting on a boy. Santa is a little bit. Neighbors came to render their support and sympathize with the victims of the inferno, who are picking up the bits and pieces of what's left of their lives, whilst others take it as another burden added to their already existing tribulations. Reporting for GRTS News, I'm by Ibrahim Chan.